Hello, and welcome to Channel One News. Today is April 10th, 1815. In current news, the Red Wings have just beaten the Anaheim Devil Rays and are moving on to beat the Dallas Magic in the Quintuple Super Death Cage Match Overtime Finals. Now, which common household pet is a diuretic? Well, it... I'm just getting word of a massive volcanic eruption. Uh, we're gonna go live to our reporter on site, Julian Jock. Julian? I'm here on the island of Sumbawa in Indonesia where Mount Tambora has just erupted. Oh man, I've never seen so much pyroclastic material in my whole life. Scientists have measured the death toll currently at 13,000, but it is expected to rise to 92,000. They have also measured that large amounts of volcanic ejecta has been pushed into the atmosphere and is turning day into night. We now go to Matthias, who will tell us specifically why the volcano was so violent. Well, Julian, the conditions were perfect. Years ago, the volcano was getting ready to erupt, beginning in 1812. It started to spew ash in the air. Now, it erupted very greatly, spewing literally tons of pyroclastic material 25 kilometers up into the atmosphere. Chris, can you show us some diagrams? Sure thing. As you can see from these graphs, Tambora has much more ejecta than either Krakatoa, Pinatubo, or Vesuvius. The eruption was heard over 1,000 miles away. A few days ago, a series of smaller eruptions uh, began culminating in the largest eruption in recorded history. Uh, these eruptions last for several days and blew a chunk off the mountain almost a mile wide. The volcanic column, after flying almost 40 kilometers into the air, uh, it, it returned to the ground and created a huge pyroclastic flow. Uh, now, I think Julian has some more statistics for us. Julian? The pyroclastic flow alone killed more than 10,000 people. The ash that fell traveled as far as 1,300 kilometers. The volcanic explosivity index of Tambora was 7. Only four other volcanoes in, in the past 10,000 years had that high of a VEI, and Tambora is the only uh, volcano in recorded history to have that high of a volcanic explosivity index. What exactly is this volcanic explosivity index, Julian? Well, Chris, it's simple, really. The volcanic explosivity index is a scale that scientists use to measure the severity of a volcanic eruption. It's a scale that goes from 0 to 8, with 0 being non-explosive and 8 being mega-colossal. Tambora ranks as a 7 and is thus super-colossal. Matthias, what other effects has this disaster had? Tambora actually had such a huge amount of ejecta that went into the atmosphere and blocked out so much of the sun that the year of 1816 does not have a summer and is still cold. It didn't have a summer? Correct! The climate is much more of a delicate thing than we think, and just a few thousand pounds of ash put into the air can indeed stop summer for an entire year. Chris, what sort of effects has this had on the world? <laughs> the unusually cold season has unfortunately caused crops all over the world to fail, devastating several economies. Average global temperatures have decreased by about 0.5 to 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit, causing significant agricultural problems around the globe. In early June, snow fell in New York and Maine. Such conditions occurred for three months and ruined most of the crops in North America. Canada has also experienced extreme cold, and snow 12 inches deep has accumulated near Quebec City. Julian, how did this affect the geography? Tambora was a small village and culture that, because of the eruption, was completely engulfed in ash and pyroclastics. For future prevention, scientists would have to set up an early warning system. With an early warning system, scientists could predict when it was going to erupt and evacuate villagers, saving many lives. Yes, well, we will continue to keep you updated as we learn more. Now, a word from our sponsors.